Howdy, folks. Thank God it's Friday. Welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update brought to you by Car Anomaly. Folks, if you join the Car Anomaly to Telegram, you can keep up with all the latest news, including an interview yesterday from on Bloomberg by CEO and founder Scott Henninger. You don't want to miss it. Brent? Man, I'll tell you what. I had the triple meat barbecue today. I I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> Did you go to I, H E B or no? No, I went to Bills. I oh, mean, yeah. I had I had Caprito oh. and I had um, ribs, and then I had their uh, their brisket. You can't beat it, man. Oh no, yeah. no, no, no! I, you know, I don't give a hell what goes on now. All right, let's go to <laughs> let's go to the markets. All right, th this is Bitcoin right now, and you notice that uh, I told you it's going to just vibrate for a while. We've been vibrating, and you know, interesting thing is we're vibrating pretty good here today. <clears throat> but notice, look at that volume. Big spike in volume, but they can't really push it down below that 32. Just quit it. Give it up. Go away. You know, it's it's Friday. Go have some barbecue, and you can go to sleep to you. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and look back at the overall market. Bitcoin's down 22.93. We're at just below a million three. I mean, excuse me, 1.3 trillion on the uh, overall valuation. Uh, that's, that's kind of a, a, a near-term low. But uh, old guys like us can remember it for is even over a trillion. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dow is up 237. And that's kind of interesting because there again, you know, uh, was rolling over. And apparently somebody started printing that money uh, because, boom, we got a big jump. But what I do want to point out is, is there's not a lot of volume going with that. And so, uh, again, that's kind of what happens when the trailer is about to come off and go on down the road right beside you. Same thing with the S&P. It's up 14 points. NDX is down 20. A uh, Russell 2000 is pretty much flat. Gold's up five bucks. Silver's up 18 cents. Uh, crude's up 64. And man, I tell you, you know, you go looking back their ways on the crude and Man, we're all the way back where we were at the beginning of 19. We're not anything near that $100, but how about that rise? Well, Ooh, Biden can get man, the prices up. The, the Biden Wait. effect, I mean, you know, I wish he'd get, get behind some of my stuff. Uh, anyway, so look at Bitcoin, uh, 21 futures, 2820, 22 futures, 2820. Overall, Bitcoin down 23, so you got $500 uh, taken off a of time value. Ethereum's off 127, Cardano's off six. A buck fifty on Link, polka dots a buck twenty, uh, five cents on XRP, Litecoin's at five forty nine, XLM's almost two cents, Theta's off down fifty seven cents, Hex is down three one thousandths, and Carnomaly is down one sixteen of ten thousandths. Wow, 16, there you ten thousand. There you go. So we're red going into the weekend, but and, and Doge know. is at twenty five. Aren't you glad you didn't buy it at sixty? <laughs> there you go, or seventy. Yeah. Um, hey, so listen to this, folks. This good news for the industry. 10,000 financial institutions can now let customers buy, sell, and hold Bitcoin through their bank account. Bank and credit unions of all sizes can now facilitate buying and selling, holding, holding, hodling of Bitcoin within their banking platforms thanks to a collaboration between FinServe and New York Digital Investment Group. The reason that that's good news for Bitcoin is where they came out in January and said, all right, we're going to go ahead and let the banks custody this and they can trade it and they can do that. They made the rules so onerous and the compliance so onerous that nobody went out and did it. And we know that for a fact. Well, right? all I can say is when I go down to my local bank and get, get some accounts open that, that are crypto related and they don't close them because the word crypto is in some of the founding documents, I'll believe all that shit. Until yeah. then, it's it's all just it's all advertising. Yeah, well, uh, it's so, not so, very not very good advertising. So so to that point, and that's why this is kind of good news for it. Right. They made it so tough, and uh, folks, in case you can't tell, he's speaking from experience. Oh yeah, like down. wasting yeah. two weeks of my time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. E even with Fidelity, who has sells oh, bitwise. Oh, don't get me started. And then they on say that. no. I don't, yeah. Anyway, but the, here's the bottom lead. Bottom line in this, what happened is, Finserve has nearly ten thousand financial institution. Uh, clients, almost 6 million merchant clients locations globally. And the fact that they did a collaboration with New York Investment Group, that is what all of a sudden made them able to go in custody of this. So right. it is a move in the right direction there. But uh, 
folks, just because anything the government comes out and tells you is going to be great for you, it's a <laughs> lie. Okay, you're going to be hurt one way or another. Trust well, me. And just because they tell you you can do it doesn't mean you can really do no, it. No, that's exactly right. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, last thing, and I'll close with this. Bitcoin whales are accumulating, and Ethereum whales are now holding record numbers of, numbers of Ethereum. One thing Brent started out when he said, hey, listen to this, looking at Bitcoin, he said they're trying to push it down. You see this big volume where you got these people trying to drive that price down and everybody's just sitting on it? Folks, one of the things, fear, uncertainty, doubt, uh, chicken little, screaming, crying, it's a fraud, all that stuff. If you're in cryptos and you're in the red, you only lose when you sell in the red. <laughs> Sit tight. Take a, eat, eat some barbecue. Take a nap. Watch our show. Watch my fence post this week. Okay, it'll 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 help you a little bit. I want to give a shout out to the building services department in Kerrville. You've had my permits for forty five days. I'm supposed to get comments in ten days. You've had them forty five days, and I still have no substantive comments. Get off your ass and get to work, guys. I'd like to hear from you. <laughs> there you go. Hey, folks, and I'm going to leave you with this last thing. Our show, when you want to watch it on Flix, F-L-I-X-X dot N-E-T, it is actually up right now. But at the very last segment of my deal, I do a tribute to John McAfee, and you have to watch it on Flix because YouTube won't let you watch it, uh, at least the very last piece of my uh, Cowboy Logic, which is a tribute to John McAfee. So check that out. I think you'll like it. We'll see you again Monday. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. weekend.